Hi guys, Dave from Fort 4 Golf here, just down at Joondalup and playing the quarry course, uh, the second of the three nines that they've got here. Um, I'm just on the first, just waiting for the green to clear in front of me. Um, so, going to be taking you through all the shots from today's round and uh, hopefully it can be a bit of an improvement on my last outing here. So, let's see how we go. So, I just found myself on the side of the green. Actually on the path, but just trying to drop and just trying to get this up and over. It's okay, might just roll on a bit. Okay, guys, down onto the second hole on the quarry course, which is uh, the feature hole of this one so as a as a you guess from the name the the whole course is made out of a, an old quarry uh, much like the other two nines but um, this one uh, effectively is a moon crater um, it's actually the name of the hole so might be a bit shaky in there but you can see that's the line down to the hole with a bunker at the bottom and then the green is all the way back up again so it's a tough hole needs a good tee shot let's see if I can rip one Hi guys, just had to take some footage and some more video of this amazing hole. Um, I think you get to see a little bit more of the perspective of the fact of how low that is down at the bottom of that bunker. Um, I, I hit it straight into the sun and I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it went down the left and um, I think I'm somewhere down on the fairway on the left uh, towards that bunker. But um, I'll see that in a sec, but tough shot coming up. I feel like I may run out of superlatives on this course um, because it really does have some stunning holes. This is the third, to so par three is about 120 meters, um, but you have to hit across this quarry. And uh, the designer obviously liked this quarry because he actually makes us come back across it for a hole later on as well. So, so nice little hole, see if we can zoom in without getting too shaky. Pin looks like it's in the middle. Let's see if I can get on there. Okay guys, fourth hole, uh, 467 meters, par five, dog legs left and then snakes back to the right and features a meter that is over 100 meters long. So let's see if I can get this drawing around the corner. Good contact, but just left it out on the right. So, of course, as soon as I mentioned there's a 100 metre long bunker on this uh, hole, I was destined to find it, wasn't I? So, I've just tried to get a little cute with that approach and uh, I've ended up in there and I've got to go up there. Okay guys, onto the fifth hole, uh, par four, about 370 meters, something like that. And um, this is the one where I mentioned uh, from the par three that we go back down towards the quarry now. So yeah, down towards there and then across. So it doesn't look like it's driver down here, but we'll, we'll have a look, work it out.
Sorry guys, I'm not sure I got any of that. So uh, hitting my approach shot from up there, unfortunately I've pulled it over to here, hit a chip to the other side of the green, nearly made the putt on the way back and then tapped in four five. Hole six, uh, par four, uh, 380 something, I think. Let's just check the card. Hole six, uh, okay, sorry, sorry, 338. Um, straight par four, um, but the fairway slopes a little bit. Um, there's an aim line up here, this target type thing there, and then it goes up to the, to the left up there. So looks a bit tight, but we're going to hit driver. Sorry, really having some dramas with my other camera and uh, I'm not sure if it picked that last one up, but effectively it ended up on the right hand side of the, of the rough, rear right rough. Um, and uh, I've hit an approach shot into the green now, uh, which I'm not sure exactly where it is yet, but you know what, I might walk up with it. So this course, Joondal up in Western Australia in the Northern suburbs, um, it is a public access course and uh, it's rated consistently as uh, one of the best in Australia, full stop. Um, so if you ever find yourself in this part of the world, be sure to check it out. And my shot is not bad from where it was, long way to go, but it's on the green. Par five, number eight now. Um, uh, I uh, did okay on the last par three, but I uh, can't believe I missed that putt. Uh, anyway, uh, back to it. Uh, I'm effectively off of the black tees, which makes this a long one, um, even though it's the blues I'm playing. Uh, 509, it means it's 280 to, to get past those bunkers. So, uh, and it's probably, just about out of my range to reach them, so no fear, grip it and rip it. Couple of kangaroos and a couple over in a biff. Nice. So nearly finished onto the ninth, uh, 346 ish, 350 par four, straight down. Um, really pleased with the last hole after seeing how far away um, we were off the back tees there, 500 metres, ended up making birdie. So that was awesome. Um, and, you know, three good shots to set it up and, and a you know, decent putt as well. So let's see if I can finish strong. Um, if I can make another birdie, that would be 40. That would be a good score. So, oh, and a couple of friends just hopping along. They obviously want to get out of the way of my drive. Smart guys. Yeah, did all right in the end, five over, so quite happy with that. Yeah, thanks so much for watching. June Lup says thank you as well. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Um, and uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers.